What's going on guys, Marty here and welcome back to Snappy Videos. So as you've seen from the thumbnail, there was various reasons as to why I did this, but I ended up buying another Digivice V. And here it is, the unboxing on the channel today, which is going to be very exciting. I've also got some screen protectors for them, so we're going to apply them and see how they go. And that is one of the big reasons why I did order another one, as well as I did want to compare two of them and look at different things like muting one, not muting the other, so we can see whether the battery actually lasts much longer from that and various different things we can do as well as battling between the two so that way I can show you guys how it works which would be really cool. Um, I also did scratch my other one um, pretty badly, I'll show you when we go over the table and unbox this. So I kind of wanted one that I could look after. Unfortunately the screen protectors I did order, I was doing the right thing, I ordered them, I was being really careful but somehow still scratched it. The screen protectors didn't arrive for like a week or so after I actually got the original Digivice V. So unfortunately it was already scratched but we've got this one here today guys which is awesome. So I'll be able to take it straight out of the box, be able to put the screen ticket straight on it so we won't be able to damage this one. Then I'll be able to use the two of them to compare them, to battle them, to do so many more things. So if you guys have something you want to see that I can do for you guys, now I have two of them, let me know in the comments below and be able to do that. But right now guys, I think we should get to unboxing this, having a look at it, putting some screen protectors onto it, then having a bit of fun with it. Alright guys, let's go over the table and while I'm doing that, make sure you subscribe and let's get this thing unboxed. Alright guys, here we are, I've got the device, I've got some screen protectors. Uh, it looks like it's for a watch, so I hope they definitely sent me the right ones, but it does look like, you know, from what it said online, what it would be, so that should be fine. But most importantly, guys, we have the vital bracelet here. Now, I'm going to take the one off that I'm wearing now, so I can show you guys just what I was talking about with the scratches and stuff on it. So let's get to focus. So we get the lighting right there. As you can see, there's, yeah, there we go, there's a lot of scratches here and there. That was when I was just turning on my computer. I think I bumped the desk, but like that. Considering these, like, kids would use these, that's pretty crazy. And obviously, one of my main complaints which I haven't dealt with yet is just the way that clips on it doesn't clip on but the scratch is the big thing guys that's why I've got the screen protectors there let's just leave that off for now uh, he's not doing too bad part of another video I'm working on make sure you subscribe if you want to see what I'm up to with that all right so let's get this open and let's have a look at it so obviously you know in the style of unboxing guys just looking at the box here it does look pretty cool it shows you everything you can do there Gammon one obviously comes with this uh, it's just showing you have the DIM cards inside, which uh, I've spoken about more previously, but I'll go over that in a moment to show you guys what they are as well. It tells you the sizes of it. Obviously, this is going to mostly be in Japanese because it's a Japanese device. Uh, it's more about the DIMs and just saying that you can touch to battle. So that's like um, you NFC sort of thing. So you touch like NFC phones, even a vending machine would do it. I uh, don't know what any of that says. And that's the box empty, so the box out of the way. As for the packaging here, Obviously, just like the last one, this is packaged pretty well. I feel like the dim should probably actually sit another way. No team like looking at this, but that's okay. All right, we'll take that off. The packaging is pretty good on this one. Uh, it looks pretty good so far. This dim I had trouble with last time, so I actually want to plug this one into this new one while we're on the video and actually test it out because my first Digivice V, if you haven't watched that video, definitely worth checking out after you've watched this one. Um, but the Gammon dim that came with it didn't work and I didn't actually have any other dims to try. So I actually had to talk to the guy and get another one sent over. But luckily I'd already ordered some in, but it took about a week before I actually got them. And I got them with this case. Uh, and these are all the, that's the Versus DIM, but they're all the DIMs I've got now. So I do have a few DIMs that I could use, and I had to use one of those actually, while I waited for a new Gammon DIM. Anyway, I wanna test this one out now, make sure this works with this new device. And they were pretty cool to play. I wasn't really looking forward, like it wasn't something I was like excited to play. But, um, you know, I still wanna be able to play it. I don't wanna have just like a dud DIM laying around. So basically the DIM guys, just so you know, uh, if you don't know already, uh, it's basically the way you can use certain Digimon on your device. So you plug this into the side. I'll get the other one out in a minute, but basically in the side of it, there's a slot to plug this in. This holds Gammon and various other information about Gammon's evolution and that kind of stuff. Plug this in, it loads up, and you are then able to play with Gammon his evolution line on the device. If you want to have other Digimon, rather than buying a new device, you just buy a new one of these. You can pick this up pretty cheap in some places, like 10, 15 bucks, so that's pretty cool. There's a lot of them around as well. So we'll play with that in a moment when we turn it on. All right, looking at it now, let's get out in this bag here. So we've got a cable to charge it. It doesn't come with a charger head, which can be annoying, but most of the time you do have um, you know, a charger head laying around, so it's not a big issue. The big thing I don't like about this, it's not USB-C. Like really this day and age, we should really move into USB-C, and most things are anyway, but it's not. So that's a little bit annoying, but again, most people still have these lying around anyway. Plus you just need to plug it into something. So it's not bad, like it's still usable. Just be something that I hope they'd upgrade at some point. Just looking at the instructions here. 
obviously I can't read that and I can't read that, but it gives you a basic idea. You take that out, you plug it in, it says this, it does this. It says it's, it, if, it, if it fails or tears fail, otherwise it says dim accepted. It's pretty straightforward, like you can just work out by looking at the pictures. But I'll show you guys how to do all that stuff in this video anyway. All right, so in here you also have, so just looking at that, it's packaged pretty nicely, I do like that, so it's pretty good. Uh, in here, have your versus dim. So I haven't actually used this yet, but I'm excited because now I've got two devices I'll be able to. So get that to focus. There, kind of. All right, so basically you'll use this to take your Digimon, uh, you'll plug this into yours, and then you'll like sort of like load onto there, plug into someone else's, and they'll battle you, which is pretty cool. Uh, something I really want to look at, I'll be able to show you guys how it works, and I'm kind of thinking maybe like a collaboration or battling one of you guys, maybe. You know, it'll probably end up being international posts because most of you guys aren't in Australia. But it'd be pretty cool to battle you guys on the channel, which would be awesome to see. So now I've got two versus dims. That is definitely a possibility in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are willing, you know, to participate in that. I'm more than happy to set something up, which would be awesome. But I will do a video on how to do that as well. All right, so just looking at the device here, guys. Obviously, it's exactly the same as the one I have there. It'd be nice to have some other colors, but I do like the blue still. Now you got like your heart rate sensor, a power button just here on the bottom. And this strap, I don't really like this strap that much. Uh, but basically it slips, your wrist goes through, it slips through, and you just push that through one of the holes, like that. All right, so you got the nice logo here. Apparently that rubs off pretty easy, but we'll put a screen protector on shortly, and hopefully that covers that and protects that, which would be awesome. Uh, on this side here, you've got a cover. Underneath that cover, I get some lighting in there. That's where your dim goes, so you plug the card straight in there. On this side, you've got a cover that's actually attached. That's just for your power cable, just to charge it. Pretty straightforward, really, guys, to be honest. All right, so what we're going to look at here is we'll turn it on and I'll show you guys how it works. We'll get that dim working and make sure that dim actually works. Um, and then, yeah, then we get to have some fun with it and I'll start comparing it. Uh, we'll also put a screen protector on at the end of the video, so stick around while we do that as well. All right, anyway, let's get into this and let's have a look. Hopefully it's actually charged. So it's pretty easy to turn on, just flip the switch across. This is exciting, I love turning these on. All right, so we've got to set the date. So I am gonna to have to double check, give me a second. Okay, cool. All right, so it's obviously 2022, February, and I don't know if I'm gonna upload this today. So <laughs> you see this date and you're like, wait on a minute, Marty, what are you doing? Uh, it's just because I'm recording it today. Whoops, 28 is what I'm going for. Uh, but I haven't had time to edit and upload it. So if it's a little bit later than the 28th of February, you know why. Okay, unfortunately, it's 11.51. So I have to go all the way around. Okay, as, as it's also in 24 hour time for you guys that aren't sure. Um, so yeah, if you're not used to that, it can be a little bit to get used to, but I'm used to it already, so it's fine. All right, so now it's saying put the dim in. So that's that's pretty straightforward. You could put in your versus dim, it will just tell you to take it out. So don't worry too much if you do that by accident. Make sure the cover is out. Picture facing towards you, like the words, plug it in. And you'll see it says waiting. So that's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now it's gonna go through these three dots. Well, last time we had this issue, it got to the second dot. So as each dot passes, I don't know exactly what it's doing at each stage. Uh, but it's obviously doing something and that's the progression it goes through. So each dot lighting up is a new, a new task completed. So you see the first one's now solid, the second one's flashing. Now the problem we had was the second one went solid, the third one would flash, and then it would freeze on the, the first two dots, and then it would come up dim failed. Tell us to remove it and tell us to try again, basically. We'd try again, it wouldn't work. End up having to wait for a while and then get a different dim. I end up using the Gabamon dim rather than the Gabamon dim, and uh, that worked. But that obviously I had to order that in separately. So this looks like it's hopefully gonna work for us. Otherwise, well, we're not gonna have a Gabamon, and there you go, but we'll see. All right, here we go, it's about to go. We've got this, we've got this. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. Dim accepted, there we go guys, so now that's on there. Tells you to take the dim out, pretty easy, and I just did that with one hand, which is cool. Uh, and I'll just put it on now, and we'll watch him hatch. I'm not really gonna do much with this one at the moment, but I will be starting to like compare, um, compare the two, do a help of videos, doing various things with them, which will be so cool. So I'm just trying to put this on, off of the camera. Have a look here, I'm trying to hold around the lighting. So he has hatch, it's complete, and there he is, the little guy. All right, so I'll take it off now, we'll have a look through. But that's what it looks like on the wrist, it's not too bad. Um, all right, so you got your steps, you got your vital values and your time. You just go through, you got your menus here, so your status menu, just check out your Digimon, whatever you want to do there. Uh, we 
haven't really done much. All right, uh, this is actually, sorry, this is actually checking out Digimon here. The other one's more about you and what you've done so far. Haven't got any trophies. I'll talk about that in another video later. You do little missions like doing squats, that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Like I like the fitness aspect of that. You can go and do like squats, which is good for you. But it's also good for your Digimon and stuff like that. Storage, just storing Digimon that you don't want anymore. Log link, uh, system settings. So wait, I'm sorry. Won't worry about this one too much for now. Uh, we'll just go straight to system settings, I'll show you this. So this is where you can like, change the time, uh, your backgrounds, your brightness, your sound. Sounds a big one, especially if you guys, like I've got a Tamagotchi video of muting it and for some reason it's my most watched video at the moment. Uh, 30,000 views or something and everyone comments on there. Oh, I'm so glad I can finally take it to school. Anyway, if you have one of these and you want to take it to school, just go in here and you can turn the sound off. Nice and easy. I won't turn it off because I don't need to turn it off. But that's where you would do that. All right, basically though, if you're um, using this, just give you guys a couple of quick tips and things I've noticed. Uh, if you are using this and you're gonna take it off, I'd recommend putting it to sleep because you'll start to use vital values and it won't be happy. Uh, just press these two buttons, hold them down, and you'll see it will go to sleep. Easy, take it off, put it down for as long as you want. Now, if it's gonna digivolve while it's asleep, it will just wait until it wakes up. It's still, the timer still counts through while it's asleep, but once it gets to that point of ready to digivolve, it will just wait. And as soon as you hold down these two again to wake it up, it will go through the steps of digivolving, which is pretty cool. Like you can time the digi evolution. If you know it's coming up soon, but you want to be able to watch it, put them to sleep, best way to do that. Uh, and then obviously wake up when you're wearing it again. That's probably the main tip for now. Um, obviously the, another thing I noticed, the battery won't last forever. So maybe charge it every, not necessarily every night, but if you're taking it off, you know, you could charge it for a bit, uh, but definitely every second day you will need to charge it. There's some more just like quick tips. Uh, the other thing is I would watch out that this band doesn't fall off of your wrist. That's another thing that I'd be very careful of as well. Um, Cause I have had it come off, but luckily I was like wearing like long sleeves or like a jumper or something and it got caught in the sleeve. You just feel it loose. But if that fell off and you're like, I don't know if you're running or like something and you dropped it, you're gonna scratch the shit out of this. Um, that's another thing is they scratch so easily. This doesn't, obviously it's just out of the package, but I've heard of people getting dirty ones out before or scratched ones. Um, this looks pretty fine, I think. Maybe. Oh no, that's the inside of the device. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's really got any scratches, which is cool. I'm gonna put a scream detector on now because I actually wanna protect it, unlike the other one, because like I said, if we can get them side by side, then you can kind of, I'll just move them around and you can probably see, there you go. See all the scratches on this one here. Because, well, I thought it'd be fine, but it turns out uh, I was a bit clumsy and it wasn't fine. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll put on, move these out of the way, and we'll put on this scream protector. So I'll just open this up. See what we've got in here. I just got these. I think I got these of AliExpress as well or eBay. One of the two. There's a cloth. Uh, but they were. Well, looks good. They're pretty cheap. Um, maybe like five bucks or something like that. So, how far does that cover? Oh, good. It does cover the whole screen. That's really good. So, let's give this thing a clean. Let's put this on. I will put one on the other one as well, but I'll do that off the camera because, you know, you guys, you're here to watch this one be unboxed and this one be set up. Not the other one. Um, but guys, make sure you are subscribed because there'll be some other videos coming along with this soon. I am gonna put this on now. All right, so step one, peel it off, put that on. All right, I am gonna not talk while I do this because I'm gonna mess this up otherwise. So I will just do this, we'll do a bit of a time lapse and we'll be back. All right guys, so I've got it on there. I've pretty much got all the bubbles out. Well, best way I find to do this is to start, put the bottom on as you hopefully saw, it's hard to do this on camera. Hold it up and just kind of like rub it on as you slowly lower it down. So that way you're pushing all the bubbles out rather than letting them build up and you can get them out a lot easier. Now that's difficult on camera, so <laughs> we'll peel this bit off and see how well I went. I may have to just reapply another one. I've got another two. So I've got one for the other device and a spare. So I'll see how well this goes and when we peel this off and then we'll, we'll uh, yeah, we'll, Judge whether I need to do that or not. I don't think that's too bad. I think we've got a massive bubble there, but I think that'll do for now. At least it's gonna protect it, right? But we'll also know that the bubbly one is actually the good one. All right, guys, so that's applied there. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the screen, it's a little bit annoying. I'll, uh, I'll do it one off camera and actually get it properly. There might even actually be a bit of dirt underneath that. Hopefully it doesn't scratch the screen. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. A lot of different tips in there as well as just unboxing this device in general. 
and a lot of excitement, guys. I am pumped to actually get these two devices out, compare them side by side, do some battling, do some other cool things. So if you guys want to see something like that, let me know in the comments below. And guys, I'll see you in another video. I'm very excited for this.